Hello everyone, and for the first time in a little while, welcome back to Transformers the Deck Building Game. Played this a few times on the channel, played it a lot off camera just with some friends, well, technically on camera but not for this channel, on my stream because we played it on Tabletop Sim. Love it a lot, it's really great fun, and since the last time I covered it in the physical form, it got a new expansion called Chaos Unleashed, which added a mode where you take on, either as one or many players, Unicron to stop him eating planets, specifically Earth and Cybertron are the two you really want to avoid getting eaten, but there's some other planets from the Transformers universe in there as well. So I've got a game set up and we're going to give it a go as a solo mode to try and take on Unicron and make him explode. Um, if you haven't seen how this plays, go watch the previous videos, go into more detail there. I'm just going to cover the specifics for this mode and how that differs to how we've been playing it. So at the top of the board there you can basically see the extra assets you need for the Chaos Unleashed mode. You get a stat board for Unicron, one side which is the side it's on is for solo or co-op, the other side is for three or more players, whether you're co-op or not I think, but either way we're playing the solo mode. His power level starts directly in the middle at 16, various things happen while we're playing which will make him harder to defeat or easier to defeat. This is his standee, he does not start on the board until a planet is revealed and he gets hungry and appears on a corner of your choosing of the Matrix board. Speaking of which, even if you're playing solo or playing with three players, four players, you always have a 4x4 Matrix for this mode. I presume that's based on because his movement is within a certain range. His movement is decided by the Chaos cards, which are up there on the top right. If he eats a planet, you use a planetary rune that functions like the old rune cards did for just normal um, robot fighting in the War for Cybertron version of the game we played. Not going to include those this time, just to try and keep things a bit simple. But anytime he does eat a planet, a planetary rune card will uh, be placed there. So once he is on the board, after I've activated, he activates, he has start of effect turns. Essentially it just means draw a chaos card. If he's on a planet, he will attempt to eat it. And if he is not on a planet, he will move towards it. If there's no planets on the board, because he's eaten the only one revealed, he'll go after you and <laughs> just try and do you a damage. There's a few ways to make him stronger. If he eats a planet, he gets one more difficult in the bar. If he eats Cybertron, he goes all the way up to being 22 power, which is ridiculous. There is ways to lower him, though. If you attack him and do at least with at least 7 power, you lower him by 1, even though you haven't killed him. Um, if you defeat a boss, he goes down by 1 for every level the boss is. So 1 level for the level 1 boss, 2 levels for the level 2 boss, etc. And I think that's it. Last mechanic he has is he takes over the minds of robots and bosses on the field using these tokens here and you have to defeat them before you can take them on again if you let that happen. So I think that covers it. Try and keep things right um, and we'll just, we have the rules here to check that come in the box if you get the Chaos Unleashed thing. The different rules for different modes but obviously we're doing the solo mode here and yeah well let's quickly go over the character I'm going to use. So of the new characters that Chaos Unleashed adds, I'm playing as Rodimus Prime because I figured, hey, it's thematic, he is the one that blows up Unicron in the movie by using the Matrix of Leadership. So Standy, start with two Energon, uh, that's his card, although we actually start in alt form. But he has two different, well he has a passive ability, then he has two Energon abilities. Once during each of your turns, you can activate a one cost Energon ability on target card you control at no cost. I presume that includes himself as well, because you control your own card. Uh, but as well as other cards. But he starts in his terrible looking vehicle form. I never did like this form. Two movement. When you move onto a site, you can convert for free, but you have minus one power when battling in this form. Although I don't really agree with that because getting hit by that would hurt a lot. He starts with your basic hand of starting cards. We'll shuffle them and draw five for the game starting. And I think that covers it. Other than that, encounter cards are still used. Still got to fight bosses, still got to find robots. The general gist is still trying to make your hand as powerful as possible. And that does it. So with that, I'm going to get set up. And we'll be back after this quick word from my channel sponsor. This video is sponsored by Noble Knight Games. Check out the video description below for an affiliate link that will take you through to their store. And it will help me out as well. Thanks. So one last thing I forgot to mention as we start here. Uh, the way you set up the deck is basically as normal, however, when you get to the point where you're seeding in bosses to the various stacks to make the deck you're playing with, which is, you know, on the board and up here, 
um, you make sure that in the first 16 cards, so aka a, one of these cards is a planet. It's somewhere here for sure. And then there's four more planets at various stages as you go through this deck here. Kind of in the same way that the bosses are seated in certain locations in the deck as well. So there's definitely a planet here somewhere and Unicron will appear once we find it. We want to find it not immediately, although obviously time is still a factor. If this deck runs out, we still lose. But we want to try and get our deck a bit stronger before Unicron starts going after planets. We can help defend planets if we're adjacent. We can use an assist to try and block him from eating it, which will buy us more time because it pushes him away. But we'll see. Anyway, my starting hand was three bold cards, a scout and a patch. I'm immediately going to play that scout card for one movement and I can flip an adjacent space face up. Let's flip this and see what it is. It is a maneuver card that costs three, so I'm probably just going to buy that because it's a good one. Sure, why not? We have one movement from that card I just played. I'll move on to this, buy it for three. Like that. That goes into my discard pile. That means all we have left is a patch card, which gives me one movement, and I can use one Energon to destroy a starter I control. I don't know if I want to destroy bold cards yet until I get more good cards. Um, Yeah, you know what? Because we're going to... Yeah, I will. I'll pay one, and I'll destroy a bold card. So one of my starter cards is out of there forever and we're down to one energon and i'll end my turn there we take the top card of the deck we don't look at it and we don't need to destroy anything because there was an empty space to fill and it just rolls around to my other turn so obviously this is my other starting hand because it's the only cards left after your first hand so artillery three bold and resupply and let's play the resupply to get one mo actually we have two movement by default let's use that first Let's move up here and flip this. I'm not flipping the card that came out of the Matrix, or rather came out of the deck, because that has a high chance of being something I don't want yet. So that is Mayhem. It's an ally that costs four. Ongoing, you can pay one Energon to play the top card of your deck. That actually synergizes really well with Rodimus, but I can't afford a four. Oh wait, no, I can, thanks to the Artillery. Sure, sure, I'll play the Artillery, and two Bold we will play that. Allies just go into play. And, yeah, that synergizes pretty well with him, so I'll just put it next to his card, although there is many ways for allies to get destroyed, unfortunately. And we'll end off our turn. We've used our two movement. I'll give myself one more movement and play resupply, and we'll gain one energon because we have less. We don't have zero, but that's fine. So we gain one. I'll use that movement to come over here. This gets resupplied. Done. And here is my new hand, and we're going to immediately use the scout to check the corner over here see what it is. It is another ally, Decimus. Start of turn you may discard up to two cards with plus one power each to gain energon equal to the toll. Not super useful. Uh, playing that scout also give me one movement. I'll flip the one we're on for that one movement so we still have our base of two. It's another ally. That is very straight. When I was seeding the deck I only put five allies in prior to making the actual deck we're using so I'm amazed that three of them actually made it into the final deck. Uh, what does this one do? You may use your assist during a battle if you do discard discard. Oh, so, so you can assist from anywhere once. Uh, hmm, do I want that? Let's... Yeah, I guess so. Sure, I'll, I'll pay the artillery and the bold. That covers three. And that goes into play as well. That also means I can destroy them if something forces me to destroy an ally instead of the one that I think is actually useful. We'll use Resupply for our move, plus one Energon. And that leaves us with one power with which I can do nothing, but hey, we'll move down here. That fills that, and done. Here is the new hand. It's actually a pretty good hand for buying stuff, more so than movement. But we start with two move by default, so let's flip what we're on and then see where we're going after that. Oh, never mind. We have found a planet. Ah. Alright, so that means that Unicron is going to appear, so I'm going to have to check what happens. I think I immediately take one damage amongst some other things, as well as the planet itself having a reveal. Alright, uh, that's a bit quick. We've only managed to get one real card in our deck, but I get to pick which corner hex, or which corner card Unicron appears at, so I'm putting him as far away as possible. He only moves orthogonally, he doesn't move diagonally. And here we are, when Unicron, Unicron is first place, place the standee in the matrix on any edge space not occupied by a character. Resolve a reveal attack against all players, all players gain one damage. So it's not that you draw one, you just draw one damage. So there we are. 
So this is when you when gained put into play. Great. So oh, we'll have minus one power for assists. Next, then resolve a Chaos card as outlined in Chaos Resolution below. At the end of the round, activate Unicron's start of turn effects. Now, at what point do I do the planets? Because I didn't say that. Because on reveal for the planet, it says place 8 Energon on the card. Co-op only, activate Unicron or resolve a Chaos card. Well, those are both. 5, 6, 7, 8. There's 8 Energon for you right there, buddy. Ongoing cards adjacent to this space cost 1 less power to buy. That's pretty good. If it's consumed, gain all energon from this card. Hmm. Alright, well, we have to do one from appearing, so let's flip one over. So we ignore all this unless we're fighting. Up here is how many movement points he gets, and then the consume value, which is, in this case, 3 plus 1 per player, so that's 4, which is how much we'd have to equal, or actually, I think you have to beat it to stop him eating the planet. But he doesn't actually move on that one, so we got lucky. However... On the reveal of the planet, I believe we have to resolve another one. It doesn't say you ignore it the first time he appears. So unfortunately, this time he is moving three. So one, two, three. And just like that, he is very close to the planet. I get to carry on with my turn now, and then at the end of my turn, he does his start of Unicron effects. So if I remember rightly, I only used up the movement on my actual vehicle card. So, or do I only use one? Well, let's assume we use two. I'm going to play Patch and get rid of that damage immediately. It also gives us one movement. So let's just get rid of that damage. And we're going to come down here. Uh, did I... I, st I st ended my turn on this, right? So I should have one left by default. So we're going to flip this. It is a technology cloaking tech. It has block on it. That's important. Uh, it only costs three. Sure, let's buy that for three bold cards and put that into our discard pile. Which also means something from the Matrix will fill up. That means I'm ending my turn with the Maneuver in hand. I'm going to use that to try and defend the planet because he's almost certainly going to get to it, unfortunately. So speaking of, let's see. Start of Unicron's turn and new planet revealed. If Unicron is on a planet, he attempts to consume it. If he is not on a planet, resolve one Chaos card. Also start of turn... Put one Herald token on the highest cost face up unoccupied robot who does not have one if more than one players choose. So we don't do that part because there's no robots yet. But we resolve a Chaos card so unfortunately he is making it to the planet but he's got a consume value of zero. So that means I can play one assist to stop him doing this. If I didn't play anything incidentally he just automatically wins it even if there's a zero on the card. But that's got a range one so I can assist with this. And I got rid of my damage, so it's not minus one, but even if it was, it's two power. So that stops him, and I get to boop him back three. So let's go one, two, three, and boop him back up there. And then at the end of my turn, this fills up from the matrix, like that. New turn, new hand. We desperately need to find some decent cards. Let's use one of Rodimus's free movement to flip that new card. We found an Autobot. 2-1-1 one, one with Flight Brainstorm. So it's worth three. <clears throat> let's get that then let's get that with artillery and a bold spending those for the power into discard and he is purchased and also goes into discard comfortable now that I've got him I'm gonna pay one energon on patch to destroy a starter I control and get rid of the other bold in my hand which unfortunately leaves me with just first strike again paid one energon and got rid of that's two of the six bold cards you start with. So now this is the only thing I've got in my hand. If Unicron draws a three, he's going to get back there. So I think I'm going to have to hold... I can use the ally card to defend. It's worth two at range one. But I might need the first strike as well. Since I was considering buying a reinforcement card just to have a transform card in my deck. To save the Energon. Uh, I'm paranoid that he's going to get a 3 movement. I'm going to end my turn there. So, new card out. Got to be wary. I want to try and find the... Now we know where the planet was in the initial lineup. I want to try and pick up all the cards that were out already so I know they're not bosses. But, at the end of my turn, we do a Chaos card. There's nothing to put a Herald token on. He's moving 1. With a consume power of 2. He only moves orthogonally, so he's going to move right there. I love that because of the, where my lighting is, it just casts him in shadow. It makes him feel really intimidating. 
So not a great hand really, but we got our scout, so let's flip an adjacent space up and do this one because it was on the board already. It's another maneuver, deep cover. It's good for movement, it's got block on it, which isn't really relevant here because it's assists we're doing. It's worth three, uh, let's see, so we used the one movement from scout there. Oh no we didn't, sorry, flipping an adjacent space is free. So we have three movement, I'm going to move over here for one, flip this for two. It is a technology. When you're confronting, it's plus one power, otherwise, uh, if you pay one energy on target adversaries in your space, gain one damage. Nah, that's not relevant. Arg. Well, we still have one movement left, I believe. So let's go down here. We'll play resupply to get one energy on, have another movement to flip the card down here. So we're back up to three. It's a Decepticon. Headstrong. Well, to stop him becoming a herald, we're going to have to fight him, but first of all, we get ambushed. So, let me come over here. Uh, ambush. Destroy one relic you control. Nope, don't. Or gain two damage instead. Can I block that? I do have a block. How much do I need to kill him? Three. No, I would need four because I'm in robot form. I have vehicle form, rather. I'll take the two damage cards, unfortunately. So, that just goes into hand, makes my assists weaker. And this is a new one added in the expansion as well. On your turn, play this before any other card in your hand. You cannot move on to a boss this turn. When gained, put in your discard pile. Okay. Well, even though I'm in vehicle form, so while I'm battling adversaries, I'm minus one power, which means I need four in total because he's three. There is four right there. I want to stop him becoming a herald. So he is destroyed. We're allowed to draw one card <laughs> for destroying him. Which is just a bold, which... Uh, we'll just put the vault up there. We might need to... Uh, we might gain the ability to draw something out of the discard pile. And we can't do anything with that. So I'll just end my turn there. And unfortunately, I think Unicron's probably going to eat this planet now. Let's draw a Chaos card and see. Yeah, he is. I can't stop him. He's moving two right onto it. It does say when it's consumed you gain all the energy on from this card. I'm going to presume that's if you had someone playing as Unicron, because he is playable. Uh, he gets a big profile card and everything, so I'm just going to remove those. But he's going to walk over here. He's going to eat Lythan. I'm not uh, familiar with that particular planet. So that gets eaten. His difficulty to defeat goes up by one. You draw a planetary ruin card, and that's what gets placed there. It's a gravity well. Reveal and start of turn. Characters adjacent to this space are moved on to this space. Ongoing, you must pay one additional move to leave this space, and you cannot clear under any circumstances whatsoever. Well, that's less than stellar. Here is my new hand, and it's going to be a super quick turn, which is just as well, because I think the dog's about to bark. We're going to use one Energon to destroy a starter I control, but Resupply is going to give me um, one Energon. So I'm destroying this bold, and the Energon I gained is what I'm spending to destroy, and that's given me two movements. We have four movement in total. Um, I'm going to move over here, buy this for three, put that into discard, and that means we have two movement left, but I've got nothing else I can do with it, so we'll move over here and flip this, because this was a starter card, and it is Nautica, I believe this is a new Autobot added in this pack as well, only gives one power, but still better than a basic card, so we'll look to purchase her next turn. So now Unicron is coming for me, which is scary, since there's no planets currently available. Four? That means he's going to reach me. Alright, so I'm going to have to read through whether you do this or you draw an attack card, because he is definitely reaching me, because one, two, three, he is on me, unfortunately. Alright, so when Unicron moves on to you and he's after you, you are pushed to an adjacent space and then you resolve an ambush. So that is just a bog standard ambush card, it's not the bottom of his chaos cards, that's specifically for when you're hitting him. I'm going to get pushed to the bottom right since that was a beginner card, and we'll resolve an ambush. I have nothing to defend myself with. Lose two Energon. Hurts. Leaves us with one. And that is that. And he's still breathing down the neck. Oh, also as part of his turn, I presume he doesn't count as occupying this robot. Which means it becomes a Herald. So I can't fight him now until the Herald is defeated. Well, aren't we in a spot of bother? And it's not a great hand either. And we drew our damage card, although I don't plan to assist anything. We did draw our flight, and we can flip an adjacent space. I'm going to flip this. This was a starter card as well. It's, oh, it's Snarl. He costs four, but he's good. 
and he is an Autobot. The card we're on, I also want to flip. Let me just see, can I get to four? I actually can. So that was one movement from uh, the two we started with. For the other one we started with, let's just flip this card. Oh, this is apparently Autobot Corner. We have Chromia, who's also worth four. Um, I can't buy both. I can only afford one. Who is better? Who, uh, during a confrontation, if there are no assists in play, gain two power. Oh, I'm, I'm playing solo, so that's pretty good. Pick it one card in the matrix. If it's a maneuver, you can reveal and gain it. It's also pretty good. Um, I'm going to go for Snarl. So we'll move over here. Pay four, which is from these two cards, to buy it. Put into discard. And that leaves us with one extra movement from Scout and one bold card, which is nothing. So we'll move up to here just to put a bit of distance between us and Unicron for now. But that's not great. And at the end of the turn, well, first of all, we refill the... Oh, did I forget to refill that space? I did. These two spaces then. And then we resolve a Chaos card. He is moving towards me one. Didump right there. And he's making another Herald. So Chromia has been infected with his disease. Here is my new hand. Unfortunately, I drew the fear card, so I can't move on to bosses. Not that I was planning on it, but can't move on to bosses this turn. And that leaves me with Brainstorm Snarl because I had to shuffle my deck. A bold card and artillery. So all in all, we've got two movement plus the two in our car form. Uh, we'll use one of that to flip what we're on. It's a technology. It's a TCOG device and one of my dog's hairs as well which is worth three target character within range may convert hmm so we have one more in vehicle form let's use that to go down here and then we're playing our hand basically which gives us two four six seven power seven power two movement I'm gonna pay the one other movement or what rather no before that I'm gonna pay my last energy on to convert into robot form because we're going to be doing some fighting down here so let's do that once during my turn I can activate a one cost energy ability on a card I control for free is anything that relevant? Uh, there's no technology in my discard pile so sadly not but hey we still have at least two, in, uh, two movement let's flip this see what it is it's a Decepticon that sucks so we're going to get ambushed by Sunstorm here Lose two energy on. Okay. And then we're going to fight him, I guess. So, got to do four to beat him. Oh, there's your four right there to beat him. Gain two VP, so aka nothing, unfortunately, for solo play. That leaves us with three power at range one. That's not even enough to touch Unicron. So, unfortunately, I'm just going to have to end my turn there. And I'm going to have to double check now because there's not a robot visible that isn't already a herald so I think he makes one of them stronger so it turns out if you like there is a plus two side to these that is an optional rule to make it more difficult for yourself so actually no there there's no additional thing here we're not going to do that chaos card he's moving to and there's no planet so he's going after me so he's moving on to me hitting me away let's get pushed actually let's get pushed down here Although I think that means she ambushes me, unfortunately. And first of all, he damages us. Destroy one card with cost 2 plus you control. If you control none, gain one damage instead. My hand is empty, so we're gaining one damage instead, unfortunately. And that is put into play. And I think we get ambushed because I pushed myself onto Chromia. Because when they're heralds, you do get ambushed, even if they're allies. You can still claim them if you beat them, though. So that is gain one damage. That is not good. Peacock Jam. On your turn, play this before any other card. When gained, put in your discard pile. It stops you converting. I'm kind of glad I transformed into robot form ahead of time then. Here is my new hand. Obviously, the damage goes into play. I'm going to immediately use this to give myself one movement and two energy on since I have zero. And is there anything I can take advantage of? Uh, does this, I think it still counts as buying the card in your space. Actually, no. No, I have an idea. No, we're going to defeat Chromia. Uh, she needs four. Everything else in my hand needs four. I'm also then after she's defeated, so we'll just remove the Herald token. 
she counts, she counts as going into my pile because she's an ally. So that's good enough. But I'm going to make use of Rodimus's power to activate a one cost Energon thing on a card I played. And I'm going to teleport to any space and then I may convert. I'm not going to convert, but I am going to teleport. And I'm going to teleport up here. Actually, maybe I should go further. Let's go down. What? How many is that way? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It's the same anyway. Uh, let's go here so we're not stuck in the gravity well of the planet and get sucked in there. And that's where I'll end. I don't know if you can quite see where I've ended up. I'm up there. Chaos card. Of course it's the one where he's moving four. Of course it is. Of course it is. I had to shuffle it. Actually, I'm not 100% sure. I think it specifically tells you not to shuffle the Chaos cards when you have to redo the deck because you've went through them all. I think it's more fun to shuffle them. One, two, three, four. Unfortunately, he is just... He is on me. No adversaries can be battled by any player this turn. Okay. Good enough. And we get shoved, unfortunately. Um, let's get shoved here. So does that mean this kicks in? Reveal and start of turn. It's about to be. So I'm actually, I'll just do it now before I draw my new hand. I get sucked into the gravity well before I actually get to go. Oh, and I need to refill the matrix with where Chromia was. New hand, starting in the gravity well, so it costs me two to get out of here annoyingly, and I can give myself three movement. We have our scout card, though, so I can flip an adjacent card. So let's flip this. It is a co-op scheme, Cybertronium Depletion. Start of turn, discard one card with move. If you have none, lose energy on instead to thwart. Contribute cards with a combined printed move value of six. Move is not my strong suit right now, unfortunately. So that's very rough. And I don't really want to go that direction now. Uh, let's, so let's see, we need two to move and in total I can give myself three movement. So we'll move here and flip it. In total that costs three. Uh, it's a Decepticon. Well, we're getting jumped by Long Haul, one of the Constructicons. Lose one VP if you have none, discard one card instead. Oh, I get to choose. Well, let's get rid of... That's already been put into play, so I can't pick that. How much would he need to be beaten for? Uh, we'll just get rid of the other bold card I had then. Why not? That means I can... I'll use... I'm still in robot form, so I will... Oh, actually, no, if I discard that, I can't. I was going to destroy the bold card using Rodimus' Rodimus's power to activate on patch. I can't if it's discarded, though. Uh, oh, yeah, I can, because one of his one-cost Energon abilities is target character in your space may destroy one card in their discard pile. I presume he counts as being in his own space, so he'll use that ability for free and destroy the bold card that just got forced into my discard pile by the damage. And with that, we shall defeat Long Haul. There's four damage for him right there. So, boom, defeated. He only gives VP, so unfortunately we don't really gain anything from that. Although, I th I think there is a, a rule, like, because Autobots and Decepticons all count as adversaries to Unicron, he hates all of them equally. It, I don't know if it specifically lets you buy Decepticons into your deck. It would be neat, because you're kind of teaming up. I think Galvatron can do that, because he can attack Autobots and Decepticons, because he's crazy. But that may be an interesting rule just to give everyone, to show that they're kind of teaming up to stop a greater threat. But I don't know if that's actually officially how it would work, so we'll play it that only Autobots can be my team. And with that, Unicron up here. What are you doing, buddy? You're still coming after me, because I'm, I'm actively trying to find the planet now, so he stops coming after me, but I can't find it. I can't find any of the bosses either, we're, we're just burning through our deck. New hand, I can only get up to four movements, so I can't thwart the uh, the gravity well thing. How much power can we get up to? Three, four, five, six, seven. That's pretty good, and the fear card has to go into play. Let's flip what we're on, then, and that still leaves me with... Yeah, three movements, so let's do that. It's a planet. It's Floron 3. On reveal, activate Unicron, or resolve a Chaos card. While on this space, you cannot have zero move. Pay three power, move target character in this space to adjacent space. Oh, sorry, cards you control have zero move. So, okay, they stop us moving. But Unicron might be coming to say hello. Yeah, he's moving three. So he's going to go one, two. I think because there's a planet here, he won't ambush us, but he does force us away. So I'm going to push myself down here. And we have to try and defend that planet, unfortunately. Um... It's only power one, so we can stop him this turn. So we'll use our artillery to, to blast him. 
and send him, because that isn't a confrontation, so we can do that. So we're going to blast him away three. And then he's going to go right back for that planet to nom on it, unfortunately. Uh, so I got away from the planet with that, so I don't need to use my move for that. So we've still got three move. This technology, this technology isn't great. I'm going to move down here, flip this. It's not a bot, it's afterburner. He is pretty good, we'll buy him. Three, boom, done. And that's my turn, basically. <laughs> Nothing else to do, but at least we're getting a handful or a deck full of Autobots and killing some Decepticons while we're at it. We still need to go deal with Nautica, though. But either way, I think there's only one card where he can move four in this deck. It does seem that way now that we've seen all of it, but he moves two. And he doesn't care about the gravity well because he's huge. So I need to, whatever I do in this next turn, I kind of need to get back adjacent to that planet to help defend it again. Well, this turn's going to be absolutely disastrous because I drew two of my damage and no way to cure any of it. So that's great. Uh, what can we do? Well, we gain one Energon. I might have a purpose later by playing Resupply. That gives us one move. Let's flip this over, see what it is. It is a relic that comes with Chaos Unleashed, so we do want this, but it costs eight. Block, play this card. This relic cannot be destroyed by any effect other than this card. If revealed in the main deck, place it like a boss. You can pay two VP to add the Autobot Matrix of Leadership and three VP, that's not relevant. Then you destroy this card. We need that card because the Autobot uh, Matrix is, it gives you plus five power when attacking or something. It's very good. I can't get there this turn. We're going to have to burn a turn sitting here because of our pulling hand. Um, I'll buy a reinforcements card for two. And, oh no, but that means we're going to leave the planet to die. Um... I only had one movement and I've used it. If I play Chromia, I don't have much to defend the planet. I think we're going to have to accept the planet is done. He might draw the card before he draw a move zero. That's the only hope. So, yeah, I'll buy a reinforcements card, which they aren't great, but hey, it's a free transform and that's not bad to have, I suppose. Oh, almost forgot. He, of course, has to move. Ah, he's moving too. He's eating the planet. Nom, nom, nom. Florin 3 is now very dead. Uh, where was I putting those? So he goes up in difficulty. He's now 18 power. And Planetary Ruin goes there. It is a space debris. Put 5 energon on this card. Start of turn, remove 1 energon from this card. Ongoing, when you move onto this space during any player's turn, resolve an ambush, then pay power equal to the quantity of energon to gain it. Probably not going to be going back up there, but hey. There's 5 energon on there now. He's technically on here because this is where he ate the planet. That does not bode well. We're we're having a tough time. Our appalling luck continues, drawing two more damage that goes into play that I can't get rid of because we don't have patch up. We'll gain one energy on That's something, I suppose. That gives us one movement, and then we just have two basic starters that I haven't been able to get rid of yet. Um, well, with one movement, I guess I'll move on to. Oh, I need to buy this card though. Uh, you know, just to try and get the patch up card, let's use Rodimus's pick a, a power for free. And I'm going to pick Mayhem's ally ability, which is play the top card of my deck. So let's play that for free, see what it is. It's more damage. That could have cost me the game if I'd had five. But as it turns out, that's three. So it's, it could certainly be worse. Um, at the end of my turn, though, those all go into my discard pile. So I'm going to spend one Energon and destroy the Fear card. So we're back down to three, but that Fear card goes away. And now let's get trampled on by Unicron. Yep, we are. He's going to force me away. He's moving two and there's no planet. Boom, boom. He's going to shove me over here and damage me. And that's down to four Energon over there. Damage. Lose one VP. If you have none, gain one damage instead. I don't have anything left in my hand, so I'll take my damage. Well, it gets put into play, but it's the end of my turn anyway, so it just goes into discard. So before we move on, there's my hand for the next turn, but I believe I just ended that turn with nothing in the Matrix missing, so a top card had to be destroyed. Forgot about that, so that maneuver is out of there. If you ever draw a planet like that, you place it like a boss. As in, if you drew a boss that way, the boss just gets placed on top of something. 
So we actually did draw a manner by which to get to eight, but I can't while uh, Unicron's just standing there. So that's rough. We'll play patch. And, oh no, we don't control any damage currently though. Of course we don't, not when I... Oh, I can do Words of Mrs. Ability to do this for free. Destroy a damage in my discard pile. I'll do that. So let's get rid of one of those blast wounds. Thank you very much. And that gives us one movement as well. Let's flip what we're on. See what it is. Oh no. It's, it's just Earth. Who cares about Earth, right? On reveal, activate Unicron. Or resolve a Chaos card. I mean, those both are the same thing as far as I'm aware. When confronting from the space, you do get plus one power. Pay to move to gain one face-up ally in the Matrix, or destroy pile and gain, or to gain two Energon. Well, unless this is the zero move. I don't think we've drawn the zero move yet, though. So one of these two cards left is... Nope, he is moving on to it. So he's going to move on to it. He shoves us away, and then he tries to eat the planet this time, rather than attacking us. I have to defend Earth. I can't ignore it. Um... What power does it have? It has two, it has three, because it's plus one per player. Oh, mm, mm, I can only play one card to assist, can't I? Oh no. Oh wait, if I play a card with block. No, it has to be an assist. Assist gives plus one power, but that only makes it two. I, I don't think I can save Earth. I'm pretty sure the assist is only one card. Let's just see here. Uh, yep. Draw a Chaos card, compare the consumed value against the combined value of all assists. Yep, each, each player can only play one. I can't sit, I can't stop him. It doesn't say you can use a block card. Arg! That sucks. Unfortunately, <laughs> we're gonna lose probably. Earth is eaten. He goes up to 19 power, and Earth is replaced by the Graveyard, but that's very apt. Characters in this space must move to adjacent space. Ongoing, the first time you move on to this space during your turn, destroy the top card of the main deck, where you can pay 5 power to clear the rune, and you gain 4 energy on for doing so. Well, that's rough. We're going to get rid of Nautica now, and by which I mean claim her as one of our own, so let's just beat her in battle with 3 power right there. And that gets rid of the last Herald currently on the map as well. So we can actually attack Unicron if I wanted to. And that leaves us with two movement and four power. We'll move here, flip this. That's one, two. That's the Revenge. Oh, that's a pretty good technology, actually. I was just going to move on and flip something else, but no, we'll buy that for the last two cards I have. That actually puts some pretty decent cards in our deck. So that's been purchased. We ended our turn here. These fill up. We, I can't believe we haven't found any of the bosses yet. The, the boss one must be on the map somewhere. And we lost three planets. There's two left. So that's obviously not great. And also Unicorn is activating. I mean, this must be the card with zero movement though, right? Yeah, it was the last one. So he just sits there in the graveyard mocking that Earth is now, well, literally gone. So as we start this turn, I totally forgot about the ongoing cooperative scheme that should have been making me discard, also this is down by two, uh, discarding a card with move at the top of every turn. Also I can't convert this turn because I drew damage. So how much did you need to clear it? Six. Five, six. Alright, if I discard one card I can do it this turn. So. Let's just say I've, I've done it this turn. I'll use up my whole turn to do it. I, it obviously should have been affecting me the last couple of turns. I totally forgot. But I can play enough movement after discarding that right here. It doesn't... It actually, you don't even need to be on it to do it. So that's fine. We'll get rid of it. It wastes my entire turn, which is awful. We had some good cards there. But, hey, the co-op scheme is gone. That fills the space, and then, oh, need to shuffle the Unicron deck, forgot about that between cuts. Let's hope we draw one movement or the zero. So there's one zero movement card in this deck, and there's one four movement, so the two extremes, and then everything else is one to three. He's moving two. The precisely correct amount. Ow. Let's go down here. And we get ambushed. Reveal the top card of your deck if it's a starter, gain one damage, otherwise destroy it. It is AE. No, Brainstorm. 
Well, he's been destroyed. Well, definitely not going well. We have a damage, but we have a patch card, so let's get rid of that damage, if nothing else. That gives us one movement, and then we have this to play with. We can flip an adjacent, so let's flip an adjacent. That's a maneuver, it's, uh, it's fine. We'll use the other movement we have to flip the one we're on. Is it a boss? It is, a, it's the tier two boss. The tier one boss has been sitting here for ages somewhere. Thundercracker, reveal attack, discard one ally you control, then resolve an ambush. It's gonna have to be the resistance fighters, I'm afraid. And then resolve an ambush. Gain one damage. Is that worth blocking? I need eight to kill him. Can I even get to eight? Um, I potentially can. Is that worth the risk? Yeah, I'll take the damage because I think there might be a chance we can beat him. So, win gain, discard pile. Got it. So, I need to get to 8 to kill him. And ongoing, when ambushed by a non-boss, lose 1 VP. Well, his ongoing effect isn't particularly bothersome. Let's see, I can currently get to just 4, which is not great, obviously. I will use Rodimus' ability to do my Mayhem Ally, which is play the top card of my deck. Deep Cover, so that's one more attack. So that gets us to 5. I need to get three somehow, that's not going to happen, is it? Uh, no, that's just going to keep me at five. It does give me movement though, we've got four movement. So I guess we'll go one, two, flip this for three. <laughs> is the Decepticon? Well, at least it's a Decepticon we can defeat, but he's going to ambush us. Destroy one card with cost 2 plus you control. If you control none, gain one damage instead. One card I control with 1 plus. Ah, it's going to have to be deep cover. That gets destroyed. But that still means I've got 4 power in play, so we can defeat Dive Bomb. What do we get for him? 1 VP and destroy one card you control. That's not good. Uh... Well, that sucks, it's going to have to be Snarl. Yeah. This is some terrible luck. Oh, and... Refill. We're still standing right here. Please be the zero movement card. Of course it's not, he's moving exactly one. It boops us. Let's get booped up there this time. And, oh, ambush card. It's not necessarily damage. It is damage. That's to be expected. And it's a blast wound. Rough. Really, really rough. New hand, I want to see if I can defeat Firecracker. Um, let's see here. So we're going to have one, two, we're going to have five movement, that's plenty. And yeah, okay, so we're going to have five movement. One, two, three to get onto him, then we're going to confront him. So two, three, four, five, six. We'll use the ally for free to play the top card of my deck. That's seven. I'll pay one more. Actually, I can't remember if command... The command is the war for Cybertron turn, but I think it's confront. It means the same thing. So I'll pay one Energon to make him worth two. I still would like to have more than that, though. Uh, can I do any more? Yeah, I can pay one for the ability on Chromia. Target maneuver you control, which is for a strike in this case. Plus two move or plus two power. We'll take plus two power. So that leaves us with one Energon. But that means we're at two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're at ten. Basically, Hohan played ten against Firecracker. He starts at eight. Add two to his cost plus one for each polity not under your command. Well, that's nothing. I can't remember if you have to beat it or if equal is good enough. Let me go check. Rejoice, for it is equal to or greater than. So get out of there, tier two boss. You don't give anything useful, but for defeating a tier two boss... We lower Unicron's power by 2 because he was a tier 2 boss. The tier 1 boss is still here somewhere. And that's it. That's our one benefit. But it's a good benefit. I think I still had movement left because that was 1, 2, 3. And we had how much movement there? 3, 4, 5. We had 6 movement because of the extra card I played. So I still have 3 movement left. Let's go 1, 2, flip this. 
a maneuver card as well. Uh, I'm going to get sucked onto this, but that's at the start of the turn, so Unicron gets to move first. It's moving four. Well, he's moving on to me, as he definitely makes it. I'm going to get shoved this way then to avoid that. We get ambushed. Adversaries can't be battled by any player this turn. Sure, why not? Oh, yeah, I filled the empty space. New hand, unfortunately. <laughs> Two damage in there, so I can't convert and assist have minus one power. We've got two movement and five power. Well, for one movement, let's flip what we're on. It's Alpha Trion. It's an ally. Uh, it's only really good if you have polities. Didn't include polities this time. Ongoing, you pay two less power to buy relics. Oh, that actually is a good power. And I can get to five. And we still have one movement left afterwards. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll buy him. Welcome to the team, Alpha Trion. Put into play. And we have one movement left, so I'm going to come down here. That space gets filled. He's moving too, so he's reaching us. Arg. There's no other planet yet. He's only got two left to eat, and one of them is Cybertron. We're going to get shoved over here and ambushed. Destroy one relic you control, or in your discard pile. If you cannot, gain two damage instead. We are actually now in danger of potentially drawing and putting into play 5 damage. Uh, when gained, put into play and put into discard pile, that's the end of my turn anyway. We have 3 in play currently. So, I'm getting there to the lose condition. Uh, I was also moved on to this space. The first time you move on to this space during your turn, destroy the top card of your main deck. I only have one card left to draw this turn. Well, I'm sorry Afterburner. <laughs> you have been annihilated. Not a great hand, we drew two more damage. Once again, I can't convert, and I lose one energon if I have two or more, but I do not. So they're in play. Um, so that leaves us with first strike, resupply, and reinforcements. So I'll gain one energon from the reinforcements. That puts us at two. For free, I'm going to draw and play my card from the top of my deck using Mayhem. So that's two, that's four. Five and he he costs six with Alpha Trion. Yep, he costs six. Arg, I can get to five. I can't I can't get to the six. Thanks to those damage cards. Um, we'll clear the ruin then. It costs five to clear the ruin. Ruin, we gain four energon, so I'll just replace that with a five. It means it's out of there at least. Unfortunately. I think the zero card's been moved, right? So, well, that, on the plus side, that means he's going to push us onto here at least, but that's we're nearing the destruction point, I think. So, chaos card. Oh, zero movement. We hadn't drawn it yet. He's just looming over us. That, that gives me one more turn. That's good. Ugh, my deck is gunked up with so much damage. So those two go into play. Uh, I lose energy on. So I lose one. I says have minus one power, and once again I can get to three. That's nowhere close. So what do you do with this? Well, I'm going to move on to him. We'll flip adjacent using Scout. Race to the Matrix. Start of turn, move the nearest boss card. If there is one, there is not. One space towards us by swapping. If it reaches this space, destroy the scheme, then all Autobot players gain one damage. To thwart, pay nine power. Each other player in this space may play one assist. That's an alternative way to gain the Matrix of Leadership. Well, that's no good to me right now, unfortunately. Uh, what else can I do? I will use Rodimus's ability for free. Target character in your space can destroy one card in their discard pile. I'm going to destroy one of the damage cards. Let's try and stop the bleeding. We still have two movement left, but I want to stay here to try and <laughs> buy this card. I can't even get to five to buy one of the, like, me smash brains or anything, so I'm just going to have to end my turn there. Top card gets destroyed unless it's a boss. Oh, it's a planet. Well, I get to pick where it goes, right? I'm putting it top right, so hang on, first of all. On reveal, activate Unicron. Start of turn, gain two Energon, or destroy one card you control. Then resolve an ambush. When you move on to the space and attack, you gain one damage. So at the start of the turn, you have to lose... No, you gain two Energon or destroy one card, but then you get ambushed. That... I, I kind of want Unicron to eat that planet now. <laughs> well, he's moving towards it. But I don't want him to eat it quickly. This gives me time to try and get strong. So he's only moving one, and then it's round to my turn again. Oh, I absolutely cannot catch a break. I'm drawing two damage cards with every draw of new hand. Thankfully, I got patched, so I can destroy one of them. Uh, 
Ongoing start of turn. If you're in bot mode, discard one non damage card. I don't have one non damage card. Wait, I do technically. It's patch. Great. Well, those are in play, though, so I can use Rodimus' ability to destroy one of them. I don't know. It has to be my discard pile, so I have to destroy one of the damage cards in that. But hey, there's plenty in there, so I'll do that. There's one rid of. And unfortunately, that means I have two power to play with, and I'm just going to have to sit here and watch Unicron. Oh, I can either gain two energy or destroy one card. I shall destroy this bold card, but I get ambushed for it, unfortunately. Reveal the top card of your deck if it's a starter. Gain one damage, otherwise destroy it. <sighs> That's a really good card. I can't catch a break. Oh, and let's not forget, of course, Unicron has to move. He's moving two. One, two. Next turn, he is numbing that planet to bits. I can't stop the damage. Well, we have a blast wound. Then it goes there. And then we have three power and two movement. That is just awful. Well, we gain one energon from that. Uh, what else can I even do? Nothing. The nothing, really. Oh, yeah, sorry. At the end of that last turn, top card should have got destroyed. So that goes away. And I think the next turn, that's also going to get destroyed because I can't do anything. Let's let's pay two energon, although technically one, because I just gained one that I forgot to put there, to play the top card of my... Or rather, to draw the top card of my deck. It's a bold card. Uh, one, two, I can get to four. No work loss. Alright, I'll just end my turn, and I'll use the ability of that planet that's about to get eaten to destroy that last bold card. Still get ambushed by it. I kind of want this planet to go away. We lose two energon. That's not too bad, actually. We still have two left. Alright, let's watch Unicorn eat this, because we know the zero card's gone, so he's definitely getting to it. So, yeah, he had his three movement. He comes over here, he noms Thrall. He goes up there. A planetary rune takes its place, which is space debris, so it's the same thing. I'm not going to get up there, so I won't bother putting the five energon on this card. And there is one planet left to find, it's Cybertron, and once he eats that, I think it's instant game over, even if you still have cards left to draw. Or maybe, maybe it just maxes him out, but either way, by that point, we're definitely losing. Well, here is my hand. Can't transform. And then we have... Well, we have a patch up, so I can get rid of in play. Terminal damage, yep, yeah, we control the damage that's in play, so we'll get rid of that. And then we have two for... Oh, we can buy it! Because of the Alpha Trion reducing the cost by two, we will buy Rung. Uh, let's see. And then we'll pay... Yeah, well, we'll immediately pay the two here and destroy this card to gain the Matrix of Leadership. Which can only be gained, you cannot just buy it. So it only has two power range two, but when you confront it gains five and then you destroy it, so it's good for one really strong attack. Uh, let's see, when gained, let's see where I put it. Nope, just if it's destroyed all oh, bots take damage. I presume it goes into discard. So that is my entire turn to purchase that card. That took so long to get, I hope it's worth it. One card here, did I remember to destroy a card at the end of the last turn? I don't think I did, which would be this card. So that goes away, and this comes here. And then Unicron, he is back after me because Cybertron hasn't been found yet, but I'm sure it will be soon. Turns out the biggest threat from Unicron was him going after me constantly and just filling my deck with damage cards. That's what screwed my chances here, I think. One, two, three. He's back in the gravity well. There is only pain. My deck has had all its good cards destroyed. Uh, Nautica, Resupply, I, oh, I have to get rid of one non-damage card, right? So we'll get rid of Resupply. We'll use Scout to move here and then flip that to see what we were on. Uh, orbital Bounce, Flight, Block, 3 movement. Not great. How much movement do we have? Oh, she gives 2 as well. Let's move here, flip this. So Ryan Pax, that's a good card. It needs five power, so we definitely can't get it this turn, which means you're becoming a herald. So I'll just get you the token right now. But that is a good card we can get into our deck. Top card gets destroyed. No, it doesn't, because we found Cybertron. Where can I put it? I'm going to put it down here. 
on top of this. That means that Unicron is coming for us, and he's currently strength 18. If I had Orion Pax, that would be 3. The Matrix of Leadership, I believe, if you proc the ability, is 7. So that's 10 covered. I don't think I can get to 8 with the cards left in my deck. All the good ones are destroyed. Oh, this is going to be really rough. Well, okay. Um, we've, got to, we've got to hope. Unicron is moving at the end of my turn. He's moving 1 towards Cybertron. He is on his way. In fact, let's turn him into robot form. He's very mad now. This is his victory condition. If he eats Cybertron, I'm just going to call it a loss, even if you are actually supposed to fight, because at this point my deck is not going to be strong enough. Well, on the plus side, even though I drew damage, which is going to reduce my assist power, I can do assist strength 2 with that card, so I need to hold that. There's the 5 needed to get Orion Pax, though. Uh, that doesn't destroy the Matrix, because it's not using the confront ability. So... His heraldness is now mine to control. In the discard pile you go. I'm holding onto this card in hand. It's only worth one, so that might not even be enough, assuming Unicron makes it to Cybertron this turn. Which I guess we'll see, because he is moving now. Two. He isn't. We have one more turn. One, two. I'm going to make him avoid me. Doesn't matter. It's equidistant. Still same number of steps to get to Cybertron. That means I need to do something about him this turn or have the ability to fight him off. So there is my hand, however I did forget that uh, when revealing he should have drawn another card, so technically he should already have been here I think, but to be more dramatic I'm going to try and get him this turn. Um, we don't have a lot of power but we have methods by which to draw more cards. So we have movement also, I want to move on to Cybertron because of its ability. So let's move there, let's use this to gain one energy. Actually, let's not use it yet. We don't need to yet. We'll use Rodimus' ability to use Mayhem to play the top card of my deck. Ah, terrible. Was hoping for damage. That's, that's going to be bad. Then we will pay two Energon, which is how much we have to do this. Draw one card and gain one Energon. Okay, that's damage. Then we'll play the Resupply to gain one Energon. It gives us two. Uh, we have a maneuver, so we can pay one to make that plus two. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can get to ten, but that's nowhere close. If we had the matrix of leadership, that would get us very close. Is there any other way to get card draw? I presume you're only allowed to use the power on a site once. Although then we wouldn't have enough to make that a four anyway. Um, oh yeah, it says there, consume end the game after this round, so yeah, it's it's over if I can't get it. Oh, also, we've gone blurry, sorry, that must be when I showed off the cards. That's, there we go. Well, I can't stop him. There's nothing I can do. I got close. I am curious, though. I mean, in the current situation, it's definitely a loss, so let's see. I can pay, oh, it's two power you pay, sorry, not Energon, I read that wrong. So in that case it's even worse, because I'd have to give up a card to get a card. Was the next card in my deck the Matrix of Leadership? No. It was Orion Pax though, so I technically if I'd paid something that's worth one, oh, all of them are worth two. But if I paid, I don't know, the Artillery to get rid of that and get Orion Pax, that's still not enough. That's five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. I tried, I tried to make it work. If we had the Matrix of Leadership, how much does that give? Also, it was two away, so yeah, we wouldn't have been able to draw it. Five, it would have been worth seven, so that would have got us to 16. That still wouldn't have been enough, because he's currently strength 18. Would have got us close, but unless this is the zero card draw. Nope, that is unfortunately at the bad end, the way the movie would have ended, had it gone badly for everybody. Cybertron gets eaten, and Unicron wins. So what did I learn from that initial playthrough? Well, one, I think luck screwed me in the sense of losing so many of my Autobots to effects which destroy me. Uh, we lost, what, a card worth... Well, the Revenge, which isn't a robot, but it's a two-power card. Afterburner was a two-power card. Snarl was a two-power card. And during assists, he gains two, so he goes up to four, so he's a perfect planet defense card. Should have tried to save him. Uh, we lost Brainstorm, which is a two-power card. So, yeah, we lost so many, and I had so many turns where I was just 
I had a hand that was just chock full of damage. So the thing I learned is when there's not a planet for for Unicron to go after, run a mile. Run an absolute mile from him because stacking up those encounter ambushes, they just constantly fill your deck with damage if you don't have block cards or want to use block cards. So that's it just, I couldn't fight back. I was wasting so much time. Actually, this is the pile of damage I cured. This is the damage I healed during the fight or during the, you know, the playthrough. So that is how much damage I healed, plus I think there's two more in here. Yep, two more in here. Two more in the deck I hadn't drawn yet. So chances were getting very high, and plus there was one in the discard pile as well. Chances were getting higher and higher that I'd draw five and instantly lose via that condition. But that just meant that I could never have a decent hand, so that was what I learned. If I try this mode again, and I do kind of want to beat this mode, so I would like to try it again, definitely do what I can to stay in uh, rope, uh, alt form, drive as far away from <laughs> Unicorn as possible, keep block cards, because even the basic reinforcement cards are block to stop the ambushes doing anything, and that would have changed the outcome of the game, I think. Fun mode, di very more difficult than I was expecting, and I try my best. I got the Matrix of Leadership, it's, I had to waste like three turns waiting to have the chance. Could have been a super dramatic finish. If I'd found, actually, where is the tier one boss? Where was he? Nope. Where was... There he was. It was Brawl. He was up here. Because if I'd beat him, he would have went down to 17 on the back of that. If I'd decided to attack Unicron at any point with at least 7 damage, that puts him down by 1 tier. Although I don't think I had 7 at any point where I wasn't spending it on something else. So yeah, rough. But, hope you enjoyed a little return to this. It's uh, something I just play once in a blue moon because it's not super popular but it's really it's a really good game to play and this is a pretty fun mode i do want to try it again in the future thank you for watching either way if you did and see you next time Ta -ta for now